This recording will demonstrate the connection of the Philips PSP2100 Speech Air to the SpeechLive upload client. Again, double check that the recorder is being seen by the computer. In this case, Speech Air is Drive E. Now go to the upload client, which will be in hidden icons. Right click the upload client, choose settings and go to advanced settings. Now you might ask why use the upload client for a speech air. Speech air would normally upload to speech live via Wi-Fi, which through a phone hotspot or common Wi-Fi in a room, or even through Speech Exec Pro software loaded onto a computer. The advantage using the upload client is firstly, you may not need the software. Secondly, there could be a situation where there's no Wi-Fi available in an office or home, only a hardwired internet connection. Also, the, the using a phone hotspot may not be an option. Firstly, select manual pathway definition, find the recorder. Now this is where the dictation files on this Android device are not easily seen as they may be on a, a, a DPM 8000 or even a DS 9000 series Olympus recorder. Android, data, com.speech, files, dictations, select folder, go OK. The rest of the, the uh, settings can remain the same. Now you can see that the recorder is connected at the moment, it has been picked up. Now I've opened my SpeechLive author account. I've removed the recorder from its cradle. Do a small recording. One, two, three, four, five, six. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, stop. Back in the cradle. Upload in progress. You can now disrecord, disconnect connect your recorder, upload one. Now the program may refresh automatically itself or you can simply manually refresh it. And there is the file uploaded to your SpeechLive author account, which of course is linked to your typist account. We'll look at the typist's account now. Now this is the typist's account where you can see that the file that we uploaded to the SpeechLive author account has of course arrived as it is linked. You'll see also the notification up on the top right hand corner. Now I'm going to remove the recorder from the dock and do another recording. This is the second recording, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Replace the recorder in the dock. We should get therefore recorder connected. Now. On the typist's account, you will see an author upload window. This is to select the author that is uploading. Now, in this case, there's only one author linked to this typist, but, but the typist may have several authors. So this is the opportunity to select that particular author that is uploading. Click OK. You can now disconnect your voice recorder. The file would have been deleted from the recorder as it is for the uh, author to clear the recorder. And within a, a short time, the speech live program will refresh and show an author uh, notification. Let's refresh manually. You can see there that the author is indicated to the typist. Now, also you could say, well, why are we doing this directly to the typist recorder? Again, uh, there may, may not be any Wi-Fi in the office and the hotspot 
on a phone may not be available. But more particularly, there are still many specialists, both medical and legal, who simply want to dictate on the recorder, hand to the typist and get them to download and type directly. So they still need an author account, but here's the option to simply do your dictation. You may not even have a computer in your room. Give directly to the typists. They will download and type directly from their SpeechLive account. Many thanks.